We make it clap. We make it clap. Changing up the claps on us. Yo, that should be our new. That's gonna be our new one. Watch us get a copyright. A lot of times, that's how. But the problem is now, what is being normalized? What's being accepted? What is changing? And every time you disrupt normalization, you have you have uproar because people don't like change. The same reason someone who has full potential define normal to me. Well, healthy, healthy. Normal is whatever you want. But how how you could be healthy and be. Completely different than somebody else, and live a different lifestyle than somebody else, and still. You know what? This is going to be a touchy healthy? thing. But your, but the... your behavior, mm-hmm. if, if if your behavior is you healthy, then I would say that it's hey. normal. If it's unhealthy and does it harm, then I would say it's not normal. And I think that uh, numbers will show us that where like wherever you see a lot of sickness, a lot of mental health disabilities, whatever people are identifying with groups that have those things in it, it's going to show what healthy behavior is. Obviously. But see, uh, the thing is, to me, normal. I don't think that correlates into normality, though, in any way, is, shape, though, or with form. Me, so normal. What, what's, go ahead. Hold on, well, wait. Normal, that doesn't. I want to hear his thought though, because Dustin, I admire you, and when you speak, yeah. I truly oh. am intrigued by what you're saying. I want to finish that thought. Why doesn't that? Why doesn't the most healthy equate to normal? I'm gonna start we would, if, if we were doing if we were doing tests on mice, we right, want right, the right, we, right. we want the most healthy mice that are identical, and then 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 to be. And I'm not saying to be identical, and I'm not saying anything of, in, in that level. What I'm saying is that as long as you're not doing harm, mm-hmm. then it's normal. Be, then that's normal behavior, mm-hmm. and we we have control over our behaviors. And where I really wanted to go with this was my first talk. Topic, which I want to talk about on the on the podcast today, which was our thoughts, and um, and and in this experiment that I've been doing over the last couple of years, that's been changing my life. So um, so when I meet a new per, I've been doing this experiment that when I meet new people, it's like a it's like a kind of like a spiritual experiment. Let me just take a breath here and have a little sip of wine before I get in here. So I was I was a mouse in the experiment earlier today. <laughs> cool. Cool. Okay. This, you were actually. I met him for my first time today. Okay, okay. So, so I was part of an experiment. So today. when I meet when I meet people, I try to think about. I feel how, like I should have had to sign an agreement prior to. You did. You did. It's just oh, not. Okay. just not in this realm. In the okay. spirit realm. Okay. Cool. Well, I hope I, I passed the test. <laughs> You did. You're amazing. <laughs> All right. Um, so this experiment, what I do is when I meet someone new, I tell, I think about how beautiful and intelligent they are, and I, I like try to project this feeling into the air when I'm meeting somebody, and I like really try to like think about that stuff, and I find that when I'm conscious and able to to pull that off, because I'm just living life and I often forget that I can I can really project this emotion out with my thoughts by just thinking these thoughts about these these people that I'm around. It's been it's been invaluable in my life and I've done in the last couple of years. I mean, I've I've been down to Florida. I was playing shows all up and down the coast. I've been meeting like huge people and just having a really great time and I really think I owe it to this experiment. So it's the power of our thoughts and what we're thinking about and owning that. Owning that shit. Owning the shit now and and like on your age of enlightenment, whatever you use to get through it, you don't have to hold on to that. Whatever you whatever mechanisms you use to get through these bad times in your life, you don't have to hold on to those things. You can let that shit go and you can change and you could not be you cannot victimize yourself with those experiences and those traumas and the best way to do that is by controlling your thoughts and i'd like to know what mechanisms you guys use and how thought has really like control how what how you guys are using thought to like okay. t- talk to me talk right. to right. me. Okay, let me just no you go first I, you go first as soon as you said what you said can you pass me a beer before you start <laughs> yeah basically like how you look at the beauty in people yes I look at how fucked up people could be. Uh, and yo, I, bro. And I gauge them. <laughs> the cynical on, version of the same thing. But I gauge them on how, on how they... On how they... What their potential fucked upness is? No, no. Because people are fucked up. Yeah. Like, yeah. Honestly, they're so... Even if you give someone an opportunity yeah. to not be fucked up, yeah. they'll do the most fucked up shit. But yeah. that same person is capable of, it, of incredible... Of course, they are. They are. Love. And within certain realms, they're going to be that. Yes. But I always have to put it in perspective like, okay, let me give this person a chance to fuck up. Uh, See, on a long enough timeline, everyone yeah. everyone can hurt yes, you. On a long enough course, timeline, but, everyone's going to hurt but you. The, no, no, but that, not, that doesn't no, no, excuse no, no, no. all the beautiful hurting. time you guys It's not about hurting. It's about fucking up. So, <laughs> like today in this fucking I'll give you conversation. An example. I'll give you an example. <laughs> Someone I didn't really know that well, that were friends and friends and friends, and wanted to do some events and all this other shit. This guy really fucked up. Oh, fuck. But I don't care, because I was like, okay, you just got to show me, dude. Quicker, earlier you show me, the better. So I was working at this venue. He was there. He's ordering all types of fucking drinks. End of the night, or he left, ended up leaving, fucking like running off on the bill. Was this me? No. 
<laughs> and, he, and then the, 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 the bartender was like, no, this guy said he was your manager, da, da, da. All of this, oh, uh, shit. that. He just put uh, it all on you. This sounds like... And wow. I barely knew dude. I barely knew yeah. dude. So it's just like, even if I didn't barely know Did him he pay you yeah. for the oh, shows shit. even? Huh? Did he pay you for the shows? No, I was, I was, oh. I was getting paid for the venue. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. But the point wow. is... He drank and put it on you. Yeah. He basically dipped out. Like, oh, now, if you wanted to work with somebody, you don't do that type of shit. Fuck. Yeah. Me. But it, it doesn't matter. You can know someone 20, 30 and years. And that's why and now... And fuck up. That's why now you don't trust... That's no, why no. now you go into situations that's like, oh, this guy's going to fuck up. No, 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 no. I've been on that tip of years ago. Why? Yeah. Because. It's almost people... a level of comfort of like, how old See, are you? Yeah. 33. 33. So you're closer to my age. Yeah. I'm still on that point. Like, I feel like on a spiritual sense, I don't know how deep spiritually you are, yeah, but really like with the way I look at the yes. world and the universe and stuff, I think we're kind of in alignment. Yes, I, do. I just, I'm more blunt and like societal about it. And just like, I just don't bother preaching shit to people who don't care. Yeah. That's kind of where I'm at, so I just make poo and pee jokes. Nah. Yeah. But basically, like, yeah, man, I don't know. I think we're on the same length, and that's why, like, but who knows? Once we get, like, say another 10 years past, with our outlook, though, think about I it. I was like that when I was younger than you. That's y'all. what I'm just saying. When I was younger than you. But once y'all we get about, like, shit the mind, on though, like, by thoughts, enough your people, your, on thoughts, though, we right? might stop giving people an opportunity to be good and give them the op. It's still the same perspective. It's a tainted version of it. There's a teacher that I remember from But I wanted to speak to that. Hold on, hold on. I was gonna say yeah, real quick because we're talking about thoughts. You never even I, like we I, got it. We got it. You know, there's like, this yeah. teacher I remember from Trebis that I'm um, Tony. Yeah, yeah. So I remember then. trying to do something with him, and he said, "I only give people one chance." Mm. I didn't understand what he said at the time. If you fuck up with the one chance, he didn't say it like that. He was a really nice guy. Then that's it. Yeah. What? And I understood where he came from later in life because it's good. He's a music prof- yeah. He's a yeah, music you only get industry. you only get one first impression. And it's like, come on, bro, like. Yeah. These chances are just not given to it. Yeah. You only get one first impression. My thing, yeah. though, my um, thing on thoughts is like, because we're talking oh, wait, about just, thoughts, just right? Just before you start, Justin, yeah. um, hold, hold that thought. I just want to speak to this. You, yeah. you were saying that you that when you meet somebody, uh, you, you automatically think when they're going to fuck up. And I, I'd like to challenge you. Yeah. Um, just in your own, maybe in, maybe if I can come back in a month or something on the yeah. Toronto Talks podcast, we could re, we could rediscuss this. But just try this experiment of thinking the highest of everybody, oh, and man. just try it. Just try, it. and but you can't That's just so think much it. Effort, man. No, but what I'm saying is, I bet you Mike has been there. I can just tell by the type of person yeah, I've been he is. There. He I, used did, to, I, used I guarantee to. this guy used to see the best in people. What yeah. I'm saying is, we're younger. Even when they were fucking well, up, we're, we're, wait, we're give younger us, than you. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. give us ten more years. What the fuck? Mike Stone did that. What the fuck? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Give us you like... You great, man. I'm trying to... <laughs> okay, <laughs> man. Okay. Well, I give... was, like I said, the same shit you're talking about I was doing when I was 23. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Give us more time and we might look at it like Mike Stone. Because the way I see what the way Mike Stone looks at people, we look at people like, yeah, like, you know, we see the best in them first and it almost takes them to fuck us over before we're like, we put them in that Don't category. even wait till then. He <laughs> wait till has been fucked, fucked over <laughs> by so many people. <laughs> In those extra years, because those are those yeah, are vital you're right. years. You're right. Those aren't baby years. They'll those are vital years. They don't that, fuck those you that extra experience. Those do some fucked up shit. As soon and as you turn warning, twenty, that's the red flags, and you're like, yeah. okay, yo, you're right. I'm telling I think, you. I as think soon as all you honesty, turn twenty, anytime you talk to somebody thirty or older, you soak it in because at that point, it's not bullshit. It's wisdom. Yeah, yeah that's no, one thing for real. Okay. But man, like I think at the end I'll of the day, that in a little bit of that. Yeah. Uh, okay. But I, I know where you're coming from. No, I think I think you're right though. I, yeah. I really, I really do. I, I gotta know that that stone is coming and that they are gonna disappoint me. And I, I find that I really, I really put my too much into relationships, and I know that that's coming. And I should probably be more aware of that. So you're right. Respect like I'm like a balance. I have no that. expectation in anything, but I'm open to everything. Yeah. I don't shut things down because I think it's a potential. Fuck up yeah, or yeah. a fraud or something. I'll give everything a chance, yeah. but I'm never optimistic of anything. <laughs> That's so like I'm cool with, with it. Like I think it might go I good, this guy. but I'm not like guy. I'm not like this is the thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Never that. It's like yeah, man, you don't, you don't I've done that in the past and learned. And it's not the thing. Like, oh, yeah. fuck. No, everything's just That's... everything in my life is just no. It's it's good neutral. to be ready for everything. It's just very down the middle. Yo, Dustin, it's gonna be.